12 or less. He can't tags him. This guy pops up to shoot and and sees that he's already around the uh, the tree aiming at him and tries to dodge by dropping. So you'll dodge and drop. Uh, when you drop, you get an additional plus three. Is it? Let's take a look here. There's a plus two. Uh, dodge and drop. Oh, why don't I see it? Yeah, yeah, plus three. So he now has an 11 to dodge. He drops back down behind cover. Oof. Uh, I need an 11. Oh, yeah, he gets it. He drops back down. This shot uh, goes, goes wide. Um, okay, this guy is... Uh, it's his turn. He was interrupted. Um, he will pop around. Well, he'll just pop up and attack. So let's pop up attack again. Minus five for range. Minus two for partial cover. And minus two for uh, pop up attack. That's a total of minus nine. He's going to shoot another 13 rounds. Why not? Uh, I'll give him plus three. So he has minus six. So he needs an eight or less to hit. And that's a hit. He scores a single hit on that burst of 13 again. This guy. He needs to stay standing to stay behind this. If he dodge and drops, it will help his help his dodge, but then he'll be prone on the ground and uh, not receiving any additional. Oh no. If he's laying down, he gets a minus two to hit. Okay, so it'd be the same. He's gonna dodge and drop too. He'll hit the dirt. He's an 11. Oh, 12. He gets hit by a single 9mm submachine gun round. Here comes the damage. 10 damage. Okay. So he tries to dive and hit the deck, the dirt, as this guy just blazes away at him with 13 rounds. He gets tagged by one of the shots, takes 10 damage, uh, <laughs> puts him down to zero. Right away, he uh, is at zero. He, um, he so he suffers a, mi a negative wound or a, a major wound. Has to roll under his ten health to stay to not be stunned and knocked down. He's already down anyways. Okay, so he's he's stunned from that blow. It hit him so hard he drops his pistol from the damage. And on his turn now, he has to roll to stay conscious, or he passes out from from the injury. He's okay. He's still conscious, but he is stunned. He will try to shake off the stun. He has to roll that on his turn. He can't do anything else but lay there and bleed. He roll under ten. He does. He does it. Only rolls ten. So he uh, grabs his weapon, and uh, so that's a ready maneuver. Grab his gun, picks up his gun, and he lays there. That's it. This guy pops up again. Another 13 shots, so it needs an 8 or less again. Oh, now that. That is a critical failure. Uh, okay. It's a, it's an optional rule, but uh, it's sometimes fun. If, uh, since uh, critical failure there isn't going to hit a comrade or anything like that, quite often I would, I would do that on a, an attack roll. If some, if his comrade was in here, he'd probably have a chance of hitting that guy. Let's just roll on the firearm malfunction table. It's always interesting. It's 11. So the gun jams. He's got a stoppage. Um, <laughs> and it'll take him a couple rounds to uh, clear his gun. That's hilarious. He's just been cooking that gun too, too hard. <laughs> okay, so um, he drops back down behind cover and starts uh, trying to unjam his gun. This guy. He will, um, let's say that uh, he saw him pop up and go click. So he gets to his feet. Um, he has to roll to stay conscious. He does so. He's a 10 on S. Um, 
yeah, he gets to his feet. That's all he can do. He's got his pistol in hand. He's looking downrange. Um, he stood up. He can still. Uh, he can still aim. Yeah, he can aim. Next turn. Okay, this guy. <laughs> we'll just say uh, yeah, an armory skill is uh, required. Egg. Um, IQ based skill, ready maneuvers. Okay. He needs uh, an eight or less to unjam that sucker. Okay, he's working away at it. So one second goes by, he's probably opened the bolt to take him in. This guy's gonna start running. He's feeling bold. He's gotta get this guy. One, two, three. Uh, his hab, his, his movement is hab because he's so injured. One, two. <laughs> uh, that is all he can do. The other guy. Oh, he unjams it. Um, he will continue to aim. I would, he'll just take a step. You can, can you can keep your aim if you keep uh, if you just go one step at a time. So he'll do that. So that's two rounds aiming. This guy clears his gun this turn. Can't do anything else this turn. This guy takes another step. He's maxed out his aiming. This guy pops up. Take another shot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Finds him closer this time. Eleven, uh, it's minus five still. He's going to shoot another round full, uh, full burst. He uh, needs an eight or less. This time, no, he doesn't have, this guy doesn't have partial cover. He needs a 10 or less. Oh, okay, here we go. This is a seven, uh, needing a 10, so he hits with two rounds this time. This guy's gonna drop and dodge. Dodge and drop. Drop and dodge. Uh, he does it. He needed an 11. Uh, so, uh, oh, his dodge is halved because he's so injured. He don't have any of five. He doesn't do it. He doesn't get down in time. And this guy nails him with three rounds. Thirteen. Uh, that's one, two, twelve. And <laughs> eight. That's twenty more damage for this guy. We'll just see if he's caught. Yeah, he dies. He outright dies right there. And that is some deadly action. Friday Night Firefight, ladies and gentlemen.